it's Christine again. After three peace casts on Mary, I would like to reflect on Joseph today. The circumstances of Joseph's future marriage were significantly less than ideal. The year he and Mary got engaged, Joseph discovered that Mary was pregnant. How? By whom? Who could possibly believe Mary's absurd claim that the Holy Spirit had made her pregnant? Did she think Joseph was dumb? How devastated Joseph must have been as he wrestled with his hurt and anger over what he assumed was her unfaithfulness and the betrayal of all his hopes and dreams for marriage. And yet, he attempted to do the honorable thing. He planned to end the engagement quietly, so as not to draw negative attention to Mary, but certainly also not to his own embarrassment. But things came differently. In the very moment of Joseph's despair, God sends him a dream. Not just any dream. God surrounds and embraces Joseph with God's own hopes for a glorious future. God's own great dream for humanity. God's dream of a future when humanity is reconciled with a God who desperately loves his own creation. Through Jesus, Joseph understood God will transform the world itself. Through Jesus, God will save his people. God needs Jesus, no doubt. And to save Jesus, God needs Joseph. And the message, the promise, the dream that God gives Joseph then and each one of us now is Jesus is Emmanuel, God with us. In his book, God has a dream, a vision of hope for our time, Archbishop Desmond Tutu writes that we all experience sadness, we all come at times to despair and we all lose hope that the suffering in our lives and in the world will ever end. But, he continues, there is no such thing as a totally hopeless case. Our God is an expert at dealing with chaos, with brokenness, with all the worst things that we can imagine. God created order out of disorder, cosmos out of chaos, and God can do so always, can do so now, in our personal lives and in our lives as nations. Indeed, God is transforming the world now, through us, because he loves us. Joseph's life certainly didn't work out the way he had expected it would. Joseph's life was totally and completely transformed He'd given his consent to play a key role as father to God's own son. Joseph and Mary were given the monumental task of raising Jesus into the man he would become. In order to live in God's dream, in order to play his role in God's story, Joseph had to be willing to give up some of his own dreams. That surely was a painful process, full of uncertainty and full of the unknown. But in the midst of the uncertainty, Joseph clung to the memory of the message God had given him, the promise of the glorious future which Joseph would help come into being. God doesn't come to save our dreams. God gives us new dreams, and by doing so, he saves us. When facing life's heartbreaking moments of loss and grief, What can save us is to remember, to remember God's promise that God is with us. Remembering God's promise is not a passive acceptance of whatever happens to us. Remembering God's promise is an active choice to trust that God will never abandon us, even in the moment of our greatest need. Remembering God's presence with us allows us to move forward without fear, even into an unknown future. It helps us to believe in dreams, to listen to God's voice, to save lives and to enable new beginnings. Have a blessed Advent Sunday.